So this is something that I made to make a comparison between a disturbed soil profile that doesn't get enough organic matter and an undisturbed soil profile that continues to get fed with organic matter. I call it the soil slab. Um, I made it in 2013 and um, it lives outside so it's exposed to the rain, rain can fall down into it and what it is, is a wooden frame um, which I've filled up with soil and I've treated the two sides differently. Now, in many ways I wish I hadn't used wood because the wood has now actually started to decay but if you were wanting to make one of these then perhaps using metal or plastic or some other material that wouldn't decay would be a good idea. Now in order to plough this side, what I will do is I will take off all of these screws, I'll lift very carefully the perspex off, I often have to kind of cut away the soil behind it to make sure that this side stays undisturbed and then I'll remove that top layer of soil, I'll put it into a plastic bag, mix it up and then return it again, gently flatten it out and then replace the perspex again. So up here, in the ploughed side, initially you get a very loose soil, there's lots of soil pores in it because you've actually fluffed it up and brought a lot of air in. But over time, and quite rapidly, especially if it rains, you'll begin to see a collapse of the soil structure and here it's particularly focused around the top of that soil. So where the raindrops are hitting those soil particles because they haven't had the organic matter, because they have been broken up before, they are just falling to pieces and beginning to, to slake. Each soil particle is collapsing and filling in the gaps between the other ones. And we're actually ending up with a compacted layer across the top. That compacted layer is likely to be causing runoff, it's likely to be causing erosion and carrying away some of the soil as the water washes away off the surface of the soil. In contrast, on the other side, We've got a much more natural looking soil profile that's very much darker at the top where the organic matter is going in and it gets paler and paler as you go down. And because there's a lot of fuel for the soil organisms, they're constantly working the soils, working through the soil, rebuilding the soil structure and, um, and they've maintained that so we don't really have such a, a, a compacted layer, there is no compacted layer on the surface.